Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 5th August 2023, the Times Now has published a report on LCA Mark II according to which the government has waived off the conditional clause on development of LCA Mark II. As per report, the work on six prototypes to commence soon and the prototypes are expected to take five to six years. Once the aircraft is cleared by Indian Air Force, HL can produce 230 LCA Mark II over a period of 15 years or more. The funding for development of LCA Mark II prototype, including flight testing and certification, has been cleared by Cabinet Committee on Security on 1st September 2022. However, the Indian government has included a clause in funding approval. As per the clause, the fund would be released only after US government approved a 100% transfer of technology of F414 INS6 engines to India. On 22nd June 2023, G Aerospace has signed a memorandum of understanding with HAL to produce fighter jet engines for Indian Air Force. The agreement includes the potential joint production of G Aerospace F414 engines in India and G Aerospace continues to work with US government to receive the necessary export authorization for this. The GE will transfer approximately 80% of jet engine technology by value. As per report, following aspects of G jet engines will be provided to India and HL. This includes a special coating for erosion and corrosion, repair technology for turbine, compression disc and blades, coating and machining of single crystal turbine blades, machining and coating of hot end parts, complete tech transfer for blisk machining, machining of powdery metallurgy, polymer matrix composite, laser drilling for combustion, bottle boring of shafts. The collaboration on jet engine production will begin soon as the deal between GE and HL is signed. It is likely that technology transfer will take place in phases with 80% of value added to the engine occurring in India within three years. The conditional clause to release funds for LC Mark II development, which has been waived off now, does not make any sense. G has already delivered eight F414 engines as a part of ongoing development program for LC Mark II. This clause has been added almost a year of delay in prototype development. While G and HL has signed their memorandum of understanding for co-production of engine, the final approval from US government is still awaited, without which the work on setting up of the infrastructure at HL's Bangalore facility for co-production of engines cannot commence. And it may take three to four years or even more for HL to commence the production of GF414 engines in India. Now that government has waived off this clause, the prototype development of LC Mark II can speed up. Earlier, the multiple reports have indicated that the first prototype of LC Mark II will be rolled out by 2024 and its first flight a year later. However, considering the delay in release of funding due to conditional clause, we can expect delay by almost a year. Due to the delay, we can expect the rollout in 2025 and first flight in 2026. It might take three more years to get flight certification and testing of various systems and weapons, considering the present scenario. In best case, LC Mark II will be production ready by 2029 end. The hold on the release of fund does halt a lot of critical ongoing development activities by HAL and ADA and later these defense PSUs are blamed for the delay. The major challenges that HL or ADA faces is a timely release of fund for development and then later for orders which keep pushing the production timeline. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.